please share your review on the waste paper market after lifting of the ban by European Union. The situation was supposed to be that the ban lift will lift. After that, actually, there will be more supply from Europe and prices will go down. Now, the situation is that actually, the mall is not from Europe. Here, the price is down. The finished paper is down. The local waste is down. But from Europe, the price is not from Europe. So, this has become a very complicated situation again. Even though Europe has opened up we are not getting the tonnage that we want and even the paper mills don't want to buy right now but even if they want to buy to kya rate mein? They, they are expecting a particularly low rate which Europe is saying no sorry we have better outlets hamare paas aur solution hai hamare paas aur countries hai hamare paas bahut sare uh, outlets hai so ye bahut complicated situation ho gaya right now at the moment frankly but पेपर मिल को शॉर्ट फाइबर तो चाहिए ही चाहिए लेना तो पड़ेगा अभी देखते हैं क्या होता है आगे बट आई एम ऑप्टोमिस्टिक के सोल्यूशन निकलेगा एंड पेपर मिल्स विल हैव टू स्टार्ट बाइंग एंड प्राइसेस शुड 99.9 परसेंट स्टार्ट क्लाइंबिंग बैक नेक्स्ट वीक से देखते हैं आगे एज द प्राइजेस ऑफ वेरियस ग्रेड्स ऑफ वेस्ट पेपर आर नॉट डाउन इन द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट बट इट मे गो डाउन इन कमिंग टाइम एंड पेपर मिल will see more shipments of waste paper in coming time. In this condition, how much time this situation will take to get normalized after lifting of the ban by European Union? I don't think that prices will come down how they were back in 2019. I think what we are experiencing right now is what I would say, this is the new normal. This price level will remain in Why? Europe's local market is very big. They are getting very good local demand. In the UK, it is the same. In America, there is also a paper mill in America. So, America and Europe will come full flow, normalization will come. But prices, in my opinion, यही रेंज में रहेंगे मेरे हिसाब से ज्यादा नीचे गिरेंगे नहीं बिकॉज दे ऑल्सो हैव अदर मार्केट्स एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट्स उन लोग के पास लोकल मार्केट है सो दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इज द न्यू नॉर्मल वेर एक्सपेक्टिंग प्राइसेस टू बी इन दिस रेंज एटलीस्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मंथ्स मेरे हिसाब से यही रहने वाला है अब डाउन मेरे हिसाब से ज्यादा जाना नहीं चाहिए अभी इसके बाद देयर इज एन अलार्मिंग अलर्ट फॉर इंडियन पेपर मिल्स दैट इज रेगुलेशन ऑफ outgoing shipments of waste paper which has been proposed to the European authority. If this regulation happens then the prices of waste paper may go up in a significant manner and the paper mill will have to face the unavailability of the waste paper or availability of the waste paper at higher price. In this condition where there has been already fiber deficiency in India how will the Indian paper mill be survived? So this is a very big problem and I think nobody's thought about this long term plan only. This regulation is supposed to kick in in 2025. What we have to understand is that India needs short fiber. A short fiber is only coming from your, uh, the Middle East and from Europe and UK. These are the biggest markets. America se jo bhi aara, it's all long fiber. अगर यूरोप बंद करेगा एक्सपोर्ट का तो शॉर्ट फाइबर कहाँ से आएगा इधर कलेक्शन का सिस्टम है ही नहीं ओसीसी जो है वही कलेक्शन है बाकी की ग्रेड्स का कलेक्शन सिस्टम इतना इट्स नॉट एज गुड एज द अदर कंट्रीज दैट इज वाई वी इंपोर्ट ना वी वी आर नॉट कलेक्टिंग लोकल वेस्ट लाइक ऑल दी अदर कंट्रीज सो प्राइसेज विल गो अप दे विल बी मोर प्रेशर ऑन कंट्रीज दैट आर अलाउड टू एक्सपोर्ट मिडल ईस्ट साउथ अफ्रीका ऑल द स्मॉल स्मॉल अदर कंट्रीज इन द फार that are exporting into India so prices will shoot up but if prices shoot up then I think India also needs to come up with a solution key by how we can recover more waste locally agar local waste nahi hum log kar paaye collection so we're gonna have massive problems in 2025 we're gonna have massive problems India is fiber deficient India is not fiber deficient India is very very badly fiber deficient and that is why imports are so high in India so ha complication to hai and Indian industry ko 2025 ka 100% sochna ha padega ki agar ye Europe ka ban aya to how do we survive that situation see okay the Indian fiber quality is not as good as the European fiber 
if this proposed regulation is implemented then the situation will become worse as the produced paper with indian waste paper by indian paper mill will not be competitive in the international market thus there may be down in the paper export in this condition what long term survival strategy do you suggest to the indian paper mills i think what the paper mills need to also do is not be fussy about which countries they are importing from i think they should try and test all countries today supposing we are supplying from 20 30 different countries example they should be open to ki bhai mere ko europe ka yahi country ka maal chahiye no that's not the way it should be they should be open to all other smaller smaller countries that are exporting because eventually you are going to need the fiber na so you might as well try and test it right now on the other hand in this current situation where market goes up and down and then when it comes back up again so it doesn't come back up again a soccer kick just like it goes jumping only up so they have to keep buying at regular intervals and according to me the best strategy what i feel for the paper mills is sub rate pe maal lo costing average karo aur wo hi apne ko survive karega profit loss balance sheet end of the year dekho ki bhai kitna profit hai kitna loss hai abhi averaging karo abhi balancing karo aur ये डिफिकल्ट पीरियड निकाल दो मैनी इंडियन पेपर मिल्स आर गोइंग फॉर एक्सपेंशन एंड इनहेंसिंग दे आर प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम 100 टू 200 हंड्रेड टीपीडी टू हंड्रेड टू फोर हंड्रेड टीपीडी और फाइव हंड्रेड टीपीडी टू एब्जॉर्ब सच अ बिग क्वान्टिटी ऑफ produce paper many times the indian paper mills do not find the sufficient buying market in india so they export the paper exporting of the paper from a fiber deficient country may weaken the circular economy of the paper as exported paper doesn't return back to the india the weak circular economy of the paper leads to the fiber scarcity which further leads to the unwanted situations such as instability in finished paper prices shrinking of margin on finished paper in this condition what do you suggest to indian paper mills to maintain the circular economy of the paper in a long term i genuinely believe that paper mills don't have an option but to export the over capacity uh, coming up in india the over production excess production that paper mills are setting up it's not helping the domestic market maharashtra gujarat mein 3 lakh ton ka consumption hai finished paper ka production hai 5 lakh ton ka to 2 lakh ton ka excess inventory jayega kahan pe export to karna hi padega export karenge to as aapne bola ki wo fiber to is not coming back to india yes we are right it is not coming back to india but there is no other solution with the over capacity till india is not being able to consume 100% what they are producing so export ke siwa option hi nahi hai they have to export and indian paper mills are making very 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 good paper and i think it's from everything i know all customers across the world are very happy with the quality of indian fiber material so yes the only way i think that the circular economy will work is if we have a collection system in place over here in india like how they have in europe and uk anywhere in the western world actually which is a proper collection system try to get your local waste collections bigger 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 today if you're doing 100 tons of local waste try to push that to 200 tons that is the only way i see that the circular economy in india will grow otherwise currently export ke bina unfortunately there is no other option karna looking at current situation don't you think that the time has come up to regulate the paper mill operations by the government so that incoming and outgoing paper can be regulated dekho india ka industry na very fragmented hai chhota paper mill 50 ton bhi banata hai bada paper mill 300 ton banata hai but sabse bada paper mill 500 ton bhi banayega so 
regulations are always good as long as they are healthy regulations right now the indian industry is uh, 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 surviving as it has been for the last so many years but yes if, uh, i don't think the indian government needs to step in but i think that if the paper mills form a very close group and try to have more fixed pricings and not many fluctuation in pricing that will help them but that is uh, we i don't know if that is possible every paper mill has to look out at their material and their situation so uh, uh, yeah i don't know uh, if uh, setting up regulations is the right way to go like the government has to if our collection system in india has to work it is not going to happen without the help of the government the government has to step in they have to put the investment into all the collection centers and they have to put in all the investment in all the uh, uh, ha ha processing facilities where you can separate the waste and sort the waste how this is happening in your, uh, europe and uk and uh, in the western world basically so yes the government for helping with collection centers and collection of local waste yes i think they must support and they must help because that has to happen our landfills are getting full we have no more space in landfills collection or help to karna padega there is a market prediction that the occ price may touch the mark of us dollar 450 per metric ton by the end of 2022 do you think the price may actually touch us dollar 450 per metric ton mark <laughs> so this is a, a very interesting question 2019 we were selling occ for 90 dollars today we are selling at 290 dollars so is there any possibility that this can go up to 400 dollars 450 dollars anything is possible the problem we are not understanding is that how is covid 19 affecting our cycle of collection collection systems abhi europe aur uk mein aur america mein abhi bhi short hai is not is not being is on 100% and more importantly how is covid and corona virus also affecting our uh, shipments and our transport uh, system so as to kya shipping line to gala pakad liya hai wapas kal gala pakdega so you know anything is possible but will will paper mill still be viable to do business at those prices i don't know we'll have to see but dekho bhai sab inflation to across the world is increasing idhar bhi increase ho raha hai badhana padega bahut to badhana padega cost of living increase ho raha hai to abhi dekhte hai kya hota hai interesting every paper mill procures imported waste paper on their behalf sometime they get the paper raw material at low price and sometime at higher price but there is always uncertainty of availability of the raw material at low price can the paper mills make an association or mechanism so that they could procure the raw material on central basis which ensures the procurement of paper raw material at low price i don't think so because in our india no apna system itna fragmented hai there are so many suppliers there are so many uh, paper mills there are so many different kinds of paper being collected now and different kinds of grades first originally back in the day do teen paanch das grade tha today in my portfolio also i have 70 80 different kind of grades to kitna kitne grades aa gaye kitna alag alag type ke maal aa gaye market mein itne saalon mein so no i don't think the association will be able to do it collectively uh, every paper mill ko khud ka dekhna hai kyunki there are too many suppliers in the market right now every supplier ko india mein foothold dalne ka hai aur basically apna industry and equation aur relation pe hi chalta hai kiska relation acha hai kiska relation acha nahi hai wo hisab se price point ke hisab se kaam hota hai so i don't think that the association will be able to step in See, uh Big paper mills have strong buying arms for procurement of paper raw material out of India, but mid to small scale paper mills are dependent on importer of waste paper. What price they quote, they are bound to buy on that price. Is the contract pricing a hope for sustainable availability of paper raw material at optimum price? This contract tonnage is different. See. contract tonnage is something that i think even 
shippers from across the world are looking for and i think contract pricing for india is also very helpful but the problem is in contract pricing domestically logistics mein itna farak nahi aa raha hai contract pricing aap export pe dekhoge to aaj shipping line 100 dollar bolega kal 1000 dollar bolega to contract pricing mein प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है कि प्राइस का कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइसिंग होएगा ही नहीं क्वांटिटी का ठीक है तो राइट नाउ व्हाई देन व्हाई डू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइसिंग जैसा चल रहा है उससे लेट इट गो नो आज हाउ मच मटेरियल यू वांट यू बाय देन डोंट डू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइसिंग टुडे सडनली द मार्केट गोस डाउन लाइक दिस देन व्हेयर डज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कम इन सो इट इज दो इट इज द राइट अप्रोच आई आई डोंट नो इफ इंडिया विल बी एबल टू येट हैंडल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइसिंग आई थिंक वी विल स्टिल नीड टू वेट अ फ्यू इयर्स फॉर एवरीथिंग टू गेट बैक ऑन ट्रैक व्हाट प्रोमेटल यू आर ऑफरिंग टू द पेपर मिल सर we are offering everything uh, we are known uh, to offer all kinds of specialty grades so whether it's for the brown grades whether it's the occs the uh, cores the whiskey boxes the steel mill crafts the sacraf bags the, uh, the tobacco boxes the fruit boxes whether it's the white grades whether it's bbc sops pocs polycups we're doing it all uh, we're actually known in india for our specialty grades we are very uh, 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 hands on with our specialty grades occ according to me is very easy to sell so we're doing more and more specialty grades and we're doing more and more all the difficult grades so that is what uh, we are doing how do you see the end paper industry in next 5 years to be very honest with you i think the future is india and uh, i think the next 10 years the future is india we missed 20 years future is india and i'm very very happy that i'm in this industry uh, the future is india the growth is india e-commerce is booming in india e-commerce will continue to boom in india our uh, age demographic is one of the youngest populations so because of that we have a lot of young people in the country which will lead to more children and which will lead to more schooling and which will also give a boost to the writing printing industry and uh, the uh, the paper industry in that sense food explosion is massive in india which will give a boost to the tissue industry and as long as e-commerce continues to boom with the likes of amazon on or everybody who wants to do e-commerce i think the corrugation industry and the box manufacturers are going to have a great time for the next 10 20 years and i think 110% that india is the future no doubt the next 10 20 years are going to be ours guaranteed thank you sir thank you sir